In this video we're going to look at support. There's one thing that you'll find with 3D printing and that is if you want to get a successful 3D print then layers need to be printing on top of other layers. It's a bit like building a brick wall. If you want a good brick wall you need to be putting the next brick on top of all of or part of a brick underneath. And 3D printing works in exactly the same way. If I look at the model on the screen and rotate it around, you'll see that there's some red shaded areas on some of the surfaces of this model, and that's Cura telling me that these areas are unsupported. So in these areas, there is no layer beneath directly beneath it, so these are what are called unsupported areas. And one of the quick ways of actually overcoming that particular problem with this model is if I click on it and rotate it around 180 degrees what you'll find is now those red areas will actually go away with the exception of the one inside this square hole. This is still an unsupported area but the 3D printer might actually make a reasonable job of that because it's spanning across two connection points and 3D printers do make a reasonable job sometimes of short spans so that may not necessarily be a problem and it may not uh, actually require support material. If I rotate the model back to where it was, maybe there's a good reason why we need to print it in this orientation. In which case we're going to need to deal with these red areas. So we're going to need to build support material. And in the recommended print setups, the box where it says generate support will do just that for you. Now I clicked on that and it's now slicing this model and calculating that support material. This was previously an 18 hour print when it was on the screen before. I just want to keep an eye on that because one of the things that support material does is actually require you to use more material for a print and your print will take longer. In this case there's probably almost as much support material in this print as there is of the actual print itself. And now it's sliced, you can see that it's actually jumped up to 2 days, 12 hours. So that's had a very significant effect on the print time. And if I look on the layers view now and let that process, you can now see in this light blue colouring the actual support material that's going to be printed. So as I run through this, you can see our main model in the centre where it's coloured yellow and red and green. And what's surrounding it is actually support material and that's an awful lot of material and it's had a very significant effect on the print time. So in subsequent videos we're going to look at how we might deal with that, how we might reduce that print time and also how we might actually uh, play around with the support structure generation.